So what we want to do now is duplicate this up actor a few times. So we'll hold down the Alt key and I'll simply click on up and drag it. And you can see now we have an up copy and I'm just going to drag this over two more times holding the Alt key. And I'm going to call this one left and then this one down and then this one right. I'm just going to put that up, right. I like to put these in order just so I have my actor area organized. So I have up, right, down, and left. So let's drag these into our scene and put them over the positions that we need them to. So we'll take right, drag that down in here. Again, I'll hold the control key and with two fingers on my touchpad, zoom in. And we can adjust this properly. And we'll obviously do the same with down and left. And it doesn't have to be perfect right now. You can just kind of fine tune things as we go along in the tutorial. So we have our touch regions, up, right, down, and left. And now we want to double click on these actors because the fact that we duplicated this up over, we've also duplicated the behaviors that were contained in up. So if I double click on up again, you can see that we created this rule here with this change attribute behavior. And the nice thing about duplicating these things is if you build a very complex set of rules inside an actor, you can just duplicate it over and then reuse it for a different actor but we want to do some changes here because we don't want complete clones of the up actor. So for right, we'll double click on right. And you can see here for right, we have that set to up. So we're going to, of course, switch that over to right. And then I'll go into the other actors. So down, we want to switch that over to down. And then we'll finish by switching left over to left. Just double click, switch that over to left. So essentially what we've done here is when you click on any of these touch regions, we're going to switch this attribute here, the controls attribute, to either up, right, down, or left. So even though those touch regions are going to change this attribute, if I preview are seen here and I click on this, that attribute in the background is actually changing to up, right, down, and left. But what we need to do is now take that attribute's value and plug it into our letter A here so we can drive that around the board. So I'll just click the back arrow here and we want to jump into our letter A and we want to apply some rules. So the first thing I'm going to do is click and create a rule and we're going to switch this first pull down here over to attribute because we want to apply a rule that has to do with that controls attribute that we created. So I'll go again to game, double click on the controls attribute, and you'll see that this pop-up here says contains, and I'm going to type in the word up. So basically the rule here is when the controls attribute contains the word up, what do we want to happen? So we have to drag what we want to happen up into this behaviors container area. So we'll go down to move and I'll click on move here in the behaviors and I'll drag that up. So obviously for up we're going to move straight up so we can just type in 90 degrees here. And for our speed I'll just do 150. Now again, the great thing about holding the Alt key and duplicating your actors is you can hold the Alt key and also duplicate rules and behaviors. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to click and drag this first rule here. And you can see that basically we've duplicated that entire rule so we don't have to set everything up every single time. But we do want to make some changes here. Basically, this top rule says that when the controls attribute has the word up in it, we're going to move our character 90 degrees at 150 in speed. So what we want to do is when our K 
character has the, or when I, I should say when our controls attribute has the word right in it, we want to move our character over to the right. which is zero. Again at 150. I'll hold the Alt key, click and drag to duplicate that. When our controls attribute contains down, we want to move that actor straight down, which is 270. Again, don't forget that you can collapse these windows down a little bit so you can make some room. Hold Alt, click and drag. And then finally, when that contains left, we want to move our actor over to the left, which is 180 degrees. And again, that speed is set to 150. So one thing I'd like to recommend at this point is make sure you get into the habit of naming each one of these rules or these containers. So this first one is up, so I'm just going to double click on the word rule and type in up. Type in right. down and left. And the reason I'm doing this is even though this is a very simple scene right now, you want to get into the habit of naming everything because it's really going to help you a lot down the road once you have a bunch of different rules and behaviors added in. So let's go ahead and test this out and see what happens now when we push these touch areas. If I push this up, our character moves up. If I push down, he moves down. Click on the right, he moves over to the right, and click on the left. It moves over to the left, and of course we can reset our scene by clicking the reset icon up here.